connect with the past. Relive history. Using Abstergo's incredible research into genetic memory, Animus gives you the chance to game within the past. The product you have purchased allows you to access the memories of Aveline de Grandpré, an 18th century assassin caught between two worlds, fighting to find her true purpose. Make history yours. History is our playground. Animus. As I was saying, monsieur, this one is strong as an ox. It's in good health and all, not counting the missing dolls. Mama? You were shouting again. Was it the nightmare? Oui. Only a dream. I'm sorry to have woken you. Shh, ma chérie, shh. Never apologize. A mother worries, even a stepmother. Thank you, Madeleine. Maman. Do you worry too? Did you forget me? Or are you gone? In any case, the night has better uses than sleep. Be afraid, Therese. I'm a friend. Who did this? Your master? No. This son. Oh, please help. Be strong. I'll get you to safety. You'll pay for this. Guards, hurry! We've got rats in the ah! barn. <sighs> Aveline. My daughter, wandering alone at dawn, where have you been? After the nightmare, I went to take air. 
Dear stepmother, I'm grown now. You needn't worry for my safety. You underestimate the dangers of the world. If not your safety, then to your reputation. Why must you be so headstrong? I wish you would- In truth, Madeleine, I'm in need of your assistance. I'm afraid it's urgent. <sighs> what now? While walking, I was startled by cries of distress. Following them, I discovered a woman, a slave, badly wounded. Where is she? I will send help. She awaits in a wagon outside in the street. Aveline! Don't be cross. I knew you'd know the thing to do. I couldn't risk leaving her to perish, or worse. Or worse! You have already sentenced her to persecution by your very impulsiveness. <sighs> very well. I will not turn my back now, not that you have left me much choice. <sighs> I will see that she is treated in utmost discretion. <sighs> Thank you, Madeleine. In the meantime, hurry to town and fetch her new traveling clothes. Go quickly. We have no time to lose. Aveline, late to lunch and looking ashen again. I fear you are not resting enough. Oh, Papa. I'll take my rest when this life is exhausted. You will hasten that end at this rate. I do fear you are more like your father than his feet for a lady. A chip of the same block. In passing, Monsieur Blanc requests your assistance at the warehouse. I dare say he has work to offer. Is that all he has to offer? I should think for all his attention, he would request your hand. All the same, it's the work that interests me. Philippe. Oh, dear me. Oh, by the turn of this conversation, it would appear I have lingered too long at this table. If you'll excuse me. Good day, Papa. There he is gone. I can tell you now, Aveline. I have taken care of everything. Your friend will be safe. If you have any more womanly problems, do not hesitate to see me. Second time this month. Customer relations are strained enough without shipments disappearing. Your uh, frustration is understandable, monsieur. In your position, I... I should demand a full investigation. Please, let me look into it. Ah, I will go talk to Monsieur de Saint-Maxent at once. Most grateful, Monsieur Blanc. At least I know I can always rely on you. Salutations. My boy, the cargo is stolen from this very ship. I have no more means of retrieving it than you do. Oui, Monsieur. That is indeed troubling. I... Well, what would you suggest, then? I know this much. The devil had that gall to impersonate my dress and my signature. Can you imagine? No, monsieur. Imagination has never been my, uh, strong suit. If it's not too much trouble, may I uh, look at your books? My books? I'd interrogate the captain. If this crew takes bribes, I'd wager he's no less corruptible. Are you the captain of this ship? Si! Capitan Carlos Dominguez, at your service. Would you be so kind as to tell me what happened with Monsieur de Saint-Maxent's shipment? <laughs> Why would you want to know? <laughs> bah! Don't you worry, my little animal. The cargo found its way to the intended recipient. Let me pour you a cup. I dare you to tell me this isn't the best Madeira wine that ever graced your heavenly lips. If... if you insist, Capitan. I do. You will not find a better vintage in all of the New World. I'm intrigued. Truly. You may uh, put your mind at ease, monsieur. The cargo will be delivered on time. I dare say thanks a road to San Nicolas. Or perhaps a uh, guardian angel, monsieur. Ah, Aveline. I'm sure it is not your old father's company that draws you here. 
I will leave you both to your private business. Avin, the documents you found aboard the Rat Captain's ship, I recognize the name. Rafael Joaquin de Ferrer, a known enemy. I don't know what his business is here, but we can be sure it's more than a simple larceny. How can I help? One of Agate's servant contacts tells us that he will attend a social soiree at the governor's mansion this evening. I'll have my best dress ready. Or my worst. <laughs> Fear not, Gerald. I'll uncover his true purpose. In the meantime, may I suggest that you uh, familiarize yourself with the governor's mansion? Perhaps discover a uh, discreet way to enter? Don't worry, Gerald. I will prepare well. Uh, one more thing. There is a small uh, house for sale near the governor's mansion. It would be ideal for a dressing chamber. If you wouldn't mind uh, buying it. Your wish is my command. Monsieur Blanc. Remember, we need these goods delivered to the south entrance just after sunset. Here, this will grant you access to the kitchen. With the Spanish under our spell, the company man will at last have the power to fulfill our true purpose. And if you provide us the labor, we'll ensure the errors of Santo Domingo are not repeated here. I will do all I can to smooth the handover of the colony, and your mission will have all the workers it needs, provided you make good on your promise. Labor is in tight supply as it is, and I must remain in power as governor. Were our arrangement ever detected, my, my, Governor. I fear the air of conspiracy has gone to your head. We'll make good on our promise, so long as your end of the bargain is kept. Everything is under control. You can count on me. Bueno. Then I shall await to indulge in your delightful soiree. Tonight, I drink to the death of the Brotherhood. Ah! Ah! Why? You would sacrifice the good of the colony to attempt our conspiracy, Gouverneur. I should ask you why. <laughs> the Order is the future. The... the Templars will keep our colony French. The Templars will keep the colony Templar. Uh, why does the Ferrer want workers? Uh, 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 Tell me his plans and redeem yourself. I know nothing of his plans. I was to send him slaves and vagrants, the ones most likely to rise up against... Against those who would oppose oppression and claim the lives that is owed them. Uh -huh. <sighs> Rest in peace, Gouverneur. Agate, you wrote of the enemy? Yes. Deep in the bayou, a dangerous imposter spreads real roots. He calls himself Francois Macandal, my own mentor, the leader, the priest, the brother, to whose cause I devoted my life. He was put to death by fire. I failed to prevent it. Who is this imposter, and what are his affiliations? This you will need to uncover. But first, preparations. Francois Macandal was an expert in poisons. This blowpipe was his. A fine weapon. A single dart blown from a distance will fell a man. You may use this to your advantage if you approach in stealth. The false Macandal gathers followers. They attempt to overtake smuggling operations on the bayou. To finance what, I cannot say. There is a smuggler, a woman named Elise Lafleur. She knows every bog and tangle of the swamp. Perhaps she could be persuaded to help. I'm sure I can motivate her. 
Good. When you get to Makandal, use your darts to approach. But remember, you will need to complete your mission using more direct means. We offer two choices. You give up the river? Or we take the river. Or you suffer before you die. Three choices then. You dare threaten me? You bracket-faced parasite, I'm no more claim ear than the dung beetles. You'd best heed the lady. We have you outnumbered. Look around, old man. Your hired hands will flee at the first sign of trouble. Aye, but the lady's temper alone could take on an army. And the swamp is no friend of yours. Who the hell are you? A fine display of gratitude. I'm no enemy, if that's what you fear. I fear nothing. My name is Aveline. I seek the leader of these men. He calls himself Francois Macandal. You seek him? To what end? A final one. <laughs> ah, then you are my kind of woman. Name's Roussillon. My uh, partner in crime is Elise. Though uh, I've heard her called otherwise. Will you help me find their base? No one knows these waters as you do. In return, I'll restore your control of this territory. I've built... We've invested years of work in this camp. Why would we need your help? Four reasons, right there. Would you not prefer to move your wares freely? If you think there's only one base, you really do need me. Those louts are spread out thin as swamp gas. It's settled then. Elise will help you find the blighters. They set up their base around a wrecked ship that ran aground not far from here. The other base is a little further along. There. I'll check out this base. You scout ahead. Oui, oui, mon capitaine! He has balls of steel! Et puis? Where is Elise? My company doesn't satisfy you? Oh, I am hurt. <sighs> Pray, tell me what you found. I'm as good a confidant as the uh, lady, I swear. It's not a confidant I need, but an informant. Macandal is holding a ceremony on St. John's Eve tonight, but I don't know where. I know who can help, and you can help me in return. Uh, there's a... a, 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 a a witch doctor in saint Angers, the eyes and ears of the bayou. I sent Elise to him with supplies, but she forgot this. <laughs> so hard to find honest criminal help these days. <laughs> Give him this. With his trust, the secrets of the bayou will be yours. Thank you. Uh, by the by, come back when you are done. I have a job or two that could use a woman of your caliber. And some work as well. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Elise! Aveline! Does Macandal still live? He's holding a ceremony tonight. Venerable one, I bring supplies from Roussillon. Mm, thank you. This Makanda is a dark influence over the people of Sandanji. If you can stop him, I will help. Yes, his shadow emanates from the shore of Lake Pontchartrain. He has a poison in his possession, from which you will not recover if stung. I will give you the antidote. But it will not stop the poison, only limit its damage. Time is short. You must take this now. <coughs> I've had worse, I think. Thank you. We'll strike tonight. I'll disguise myself as a slave, so that I'm invisible to Macandal's followers. I'll be ready when you are. St. John won't know what hit him.
you make good on your word. Fear not, senor. I was trained by... I know only too well who your master was, Baptiste. Just remember where your loyalties lie. I shall not fail you. See that you don't. My faithful acolytes, stand ready. The time of our ritual is now. I'll approach from the far side and create a distraction. Wait for it before you move. Oui, oui, mon capitaine. Myself. The ceremony will go on. You cannot stop it. When I am done with you, I will destroy your mentor. By your hand, Agate betrays me one final time. Look at you, eh? I know it well. The first time Agate betrayed me, it was for the woman, the thief. She wore one just like it. Who was she? What was her name? What was her name? Agate, I have done as you asked. The imposter is dead. He was working with De Ferrer. Hmm. What else have you learned? Only... that he would have forced you out of hiding. Let us be thankful it did not come to that. If it had our brotherhood... Well, let us not dwell. You have destroyed the hornet's nest in the bayou. At least for now. De Ferrer will have his day. Farewell and adieu to your bare Spanish letters. Farewell and adieu to your letters of Spain. Spain is the only thing I am. I am Carlos Capitan, Dominguez. We meet again. Do we? All three of you look familiar. <laughs> but you are welcome back to my cabin. I've manhood for... I don't think... Or we could consort right here! <laughs> what do you know about Rafael Joaquin de Ferrer? I'm afraid he's not invited. <laughs> What's your business with him? He pays for transport to and from New Orleans. That's all I do. Transport the things and get paid. Things, paid. Transport, paid. Back and forth and forth and back. What is he doing? Why New Orleans? <laughs> I do not know. Senor de Ferrer is a very secretive man. Thank you for your time, Capitan. <laughs> Aveline, out and about as always. But home to rest now, Papa. Monsieur Blanc tells me you do a great service to my business. To... Our business, for it will be your husband someday. Oh, Papa, you know I should sooner mind my own business than marry. As stubborn as your mother, Jeanne. If only she could see you now. But she can't. No. But perhaps you are old enough now. It is not much. One page. But it is from her diary. You should have it. Mama. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> P 
Papa, you surprised me. I dared not interrupt. Your music is breathtaking. I dare say you could stop a man's heart. You flatter me too much, Papa. The credit belongs to my teacher. I am but an instrument of his will. How blessed we are with a daughter who uses her talents in peace, not to riot in the streets of New Orleans. There is so much unrest since the arrival of the Spanish. Well, I don't want to keep you from your practice. I simply came with a message from Monsieur Blanc. At your leisure, he requests your assistance at the warehouse. Do take care when you go. The streets are not safe for a lady. No need to worry, Papa. I will try to restrain myself. I know your charm and grace will protect you like armor. Enough! The man is down. Don't abuse what little power you have. All right! Then we go! Now, what's this all about? I've been turning up missing. Or uh, not turning up, rather. That's why we... But you have proof the Spanish are behind it? Kidnappings have increased since they got here. Increased? Life was never easy. Now, it's worse. Rioting will only worsen your plight. You need evidence. And how are we going to get that? I... I don't know. Yet. Some help you are. I mean, I've, um, concocted a special instrument for you. A uh, parasol? I suppose I should thank you, but... Uh, allow me to, uh, demonstrate. <laughs> See? Elegant and deadly. Just like my lady. Monsieur Blanc, you do know me so well. <laughs> ah! Right. Um, so, business. Do you recall our rival, Monsieur Boucher, who has twice caught watering his wine? Up to his old tricks again? Now he claims our the nerves. He has erected a stall in the market by the docks and distributes handbills to that effect. Sales are impacted, and we have enough trouble keeping money in the company as it is. Say no more. I'll see to it that he ceases to slander. Don't kill me! What do you want? Stop slandering the Grand Prix's reputation. Close your deceptive booth, clean the market of your insipid handbills, and issue a public apology. All right! I'll apologize! I swear! What's this? Coffee? <laughs> How are you feeling? A touch nervous? Itchy? All right, look. I I'm desperate. I, I can't keep my slaves from escaping. I lose money every day. And all my stock is in tea. If everyone starts drinking coffee, I'll be through. Anyone who keeps slaves deserves to lose them. Next time, remember. Far worse things can haunt a man than lost business. All right, all right, all right, ma'am. Gérald, I'm hearing about disappearing slaves again. I thought we ended that with Gouverneur d'Abadie. But it happens again, and not only slaves now, but laborers, the poor. Where are they all going? I set my informants on finding out. No, I'll do it myself. They need help now. May I suggest that you, um, start with saint Angers this time? Yes. This is one case we won't solve at the garden party. When you're ready to go, find me outside, near the docks. I'll show you a faster way there. Aveline, what troubles you? I'm investigating new reports of disappearances. Are you missing anyone? It does seem that way. But so many rest here before moving on. It is not always apparent where or why a man has gone. Your friend, Elise, hires many people to work. She may know better. Perhaps. I feel a great change coming. You will face powerful foes. Please, take this. A new poison I have been testing. It makes the victim momentarily hysterical. 
Thank you, Venerable One. Evelyn, old girl! Where you been? The swamp's not the same without you. The gators are getting uppity. Oh, you know, business demands and piano recitals. <sighs> How I've missed the bayou air. It has the scent of action about it. Among other things. Listen, I'm glad you're here. The other day I saw something and I said to myself, Elise, old girl, something's not right. Convoys loaded with the strangest cargo. People. Dozens of them. Where were they headed? I can't say. But I know where they came from. The fort. Will you show me the place? Thought you'd never ask. Meet me tomorrow. I'll mark your map. I recognize these people. Some of them have worked for me. Chris Fay! A word? Elise! What are you doing here? What does it look like? Rescuing you. From what? Employment? Freedom? Uh, Chris Fay, these chains don't exactly say freedom to me. Temporary discomforts. Too many workers escaped the last voyage without paying their fare. We'll be released once we reach the worksite. These terms don't concern you. Elise, everything in this life concerns me. But I can survive a little longer till we get south to freedom. I don't trust this. Chris Fay. I promise we'll get to the bottom of this. But... We should investigate the fort while the time is ripe. With all the soldiers in town, there can't be many left. Elise! I like your thinking. Good. I'll scout ahead. Find me at the bridge. And Chris Fay, Keep out of trouble. While we go stir some. Right. Thanks. I suppose interrogation's out of the question now. There are quicker ways to get at the truth. Does this mean we don't get aboard the workship? Workship? Where is this workship bound? Away from this wretched colony forever, that's all I know. All right, everybody out. Come with me. I'm going to die in this cesspool of a territory, aren't I? Aveline, you'd better make yourself scarce before you incite any more gratitude. I'll escort these people back to Saint Danger. Aveline, you are unhappy? What did you find? Too much and not enough. The Spanish are behind the kidnappings. But the kidnaps seem to look forward to their transit. To where, I don't know. No one at the fort could tell me. The directive must come straight from the uh, top, from Gouverneur Uyua. Is this why he hides in La Balise instead of coming to the city and leading like a proper leader? What is his true purpose here? I don't know. But I intend to find out. That will be difficult as long as he stays couched in La Balise. I'll drive him out and make him answer. Interrogation is not your usual style. This is not a usual circumstance. Good. Then let us gather our unusual circumstances to plan our attack. This Spanish gouverneur has placed so many restrictions on trade, even plantation owners are practically begging for an excuse to riot. If I can infiltrate the crowd, I can create that excuse. I've received a very, um, exciting piece of intelligence. A gunpowder delivery. It's on its way to a city outpost. Unless we, uh, intercept it. I'm not dressed for interception. Do I have time to change? Oh, yes. Assume you're true, guys. Get your weapons and we'll go. We? You're coming too? You do realize it might get dangerous. Yes, well... well someone needs to navigate. Dressed like that? Gerard, I... Aveline, I'll have you know I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Yeah. Yes. Why should you have all the excitement? I didn't know you wanted. I know what you think. Bloody sensible. Bloody boring. I'm more than just an accountant, Aveline. Very well. You're a navigator too. A regular Magellan. They're stealing the gunpowder! Stop them! Stop Hurry. them! Oh. Now! On the horse! Now! What? Jump! Can't get out! Help! Help! 
Well, I think we got their attention. A terrible waste of wine, mind you. Spanish wine makes better floor polish anyway. Now, to get Ulloa out of La Balise. I suggest we regroup at the warehouse to strategize. Enough excitement for one day, Gerard? Yes. I think that should last me nicely. Thank you. Ah, Evelyn. To draw Ulloa out, we can hit the Spanish where it hurts, in the flotilla. Two military vessels are anchored at the port. If anything were to happen to them, Ulloa could not ignore it. I'll see what I can arrange. Recognize me now, Capitan? No. Yuri. El Cat. Medusa! Men! Subdue her at once! Please, please, have mercy. I I'll trouble you no further. I I'll give up ale and rag water. I'll mutton monger no more. I'll go to church. Please, leave me now to my sad monkish end. You mistake me for your judge and executioner brother, Dominguez. Save yourself, if you're not too slow with liquor. Aveline, your face has been scarce around the bayou. Do you outgrow your need of me? I came the moment I received your message. I had a nightmare. I dreamt that you turned... No. Never mind. I wonder if you would humor your old mentor with a show of loyalty. Agate, I need not humor you. I am loyal. What do you need? I don't know what you and Monsieur Blanc have been conspiring. But it is clear that now, amid the chaos of the riot, Oyor will finally be forced to leave La Balise and negotiate for peace. Our moment is now. With the kidnapper dead and safety restored, my mission will be complete. I will find peace. There is only one path the governor can take. The others are barricaded or in flames. You must prepare an ambush and strike at just the right moment. Find him and kill him. I will. Please, no. Spare my wife and child. Like you've spared the lives of slaves and laborers you've ripped from their families? Yes! They are not harmed, merely transported to Mexico. Mexico? To what end? I do not know. I am only an advisor. Please, my wife knows nothing. I told her the convoys were for criminals overflowing from the city jail. She is innocent. Allow me to make amends. You? Who knows nothing? I am a man of science. My own southern expeditions required similar tools and manpower. The region is rich with relics predating even the Mayans. Further, I can offer you this. It can be used to decipher secret documents, like this one. I will turn my back now and walk away. If you would like to keep your life, you will remove yourself from this continent, never to be seen again. Thank you. Thank you for your mercy. Mercy. This is not mercy. I merely leave you to contend with the arsenal of your own employers. A life of hiding awaits you. Go and wallow in your false freedom. Were you successful? Gouverneur Uyoa gave me this trophy. Ah, a valuable find. 
This makes Uyora's death an incredible victory for the Assassin Brotherhood. I only wish I could have witnessed it myself. Tell me, what were his last words? Thank you for your mercy. What? You mean to say he is free? This is how you choose to prove your loyalty to me? By disobeying my direct order? By letting our enemy run free? My mentor, you are consumed by bloodlust. We share a common goal. Free the slaves, defeat our enemies, impose justice. We now have the tools we need to advance in our mission. I must follow our enemy to Mexico, now. You will do no such thing! If you will not see it, I must follow my own instincts. What is an assassin without discipline? You will regret your insubordination. I'll take that chance. Pavlina, Agate warned me of your flight to Mexico. Do you intend to abandon your business and the slaves in New Orleans? What about your family? My father sends me to Cuba to find suppliers, with his blessing. And you're more than fit to run the business in my absence. I must follow our enemy. And when were you going to tell me? I couldn't risk you trying to stop me. Is this all you see in me? Business? Orders? Aveline, I care for you. Gerald, don't be angry. You know we cannot mix feelings with work. I had hoped to spare... Since I know I cannot stop you, is there any last assistance I can provide? I admit my plan to board this ship is clumsy. There's a compound nearby where slaves are held. Slaves bound to Mexico. You can gain access to the ship by blending with them. I won't be able to take my weapons. Well, how will you defend yourself? Uh, right. Silly question. I'll hold them for you until your return. Thank you, Gerald. You're a true, true friend. Welcome, friends, to a new life of freedom, productivity, and peace. Here, you will find no shackles, no whips. You will build your own community, and by your labor, together, we will prosper! A little crude, but it's better than nothing. Of course, you're correct. The company man is already displeased. If we had more people... More people? We've already exhausted the local labor supply. I brought workers from everywhere, as near as Cuba and as far as New Orleans. And in total secrecy, do you realize how complex and expensive that is? Be patient. Vasquez will soon be in place in New Orleans. He will succeed where Baptiste failed. Here is the man I was mentioning earlier. What should we do with him? Educate him on the error of his ways. You didn't really think we'd let you violate your contract and run off with a head full of secrets, did you? Thank you. Where on earth did you come from? More importantly, where will you go? To New Orleans? I can arrange for employment. Ha! Huh. 
For what? My people are the fawn. I will go back to Africa. Your locket is very unusual. I've seen one before. I assumed it was one of a kind. It is one of a kind. My mother made it with her own hands. You must be mistaken. No. The woman who wore the locket was named Jeanne. She was one of the first workers to come here. I remember her fondly. But that was my mother's name. Where is this woman? I must see her. I don't know. She lived in a private house at the south edge of the camp. You should go. De Ferrer will be looking for you. Will you be all right on your own? Yes. I will hide until the changing of the guard at sundown, and then make my escape again. This time, they won't catch me. Good luck. <laughs> How wonderfully useful you are. You remove those who would supersede me in rank. You find pieces of the prophecy disc, saving me the effort. <laughs> if you weren't my enemy, I would take you for my friend. Our aims must not be so different for all the help you give me. Aveline! Maman? It can't be. I left you in Madeleine's protection for your own safety. You and my heart. What cruel destiny brings you now? And carrying the blade of the enemy? Don't tell me. I thought you were dead. Please understand. They would have killed me. Taken my heart. I never wanted to leave you. Is that it? Has Agate sent you here to kill me? Please tell me you do not hate me so much. I would not have left. Kill you? No, I, I, I came here on my own. Aveline. The disc can never fall into Agate's hands. If it did, everything I've been working to find and protect since leaving Nouvelle Orléans would be destroyed. How do you know him? And why are you so afraid? Long ago. No. I'm sorry, Evelyn. I hope you can forgive me someday. Mama! Evelyn! I... Gérald, you look as though you've seen a ghost. I left Chichen Itza the moment it was secure. Then you were... Uh, successful? De Ferrer will no longer trouble us. But there is more to this story. Always. Avin, aren't you forgetting something? Please, Gérald, now is not the time. I, um, uh, well, I merely meant to, to give you... Oh, uh, thank you. It's been too long. As you can see, my employer is prepared to be very generous. So it seems. Then you will join our cause? See. Si. Stop her! Agate! Who... Who are you? You look like a faithful student I had once. Long ago. She no longer exists. Mentor, I know you have doubted me. But please, my absence has not been in vain. Look what I found. You should have left it where it lay. Do you have any idea of its purpose or power? I was hoping you could enlighten. Had you not insisted on dredging it up, no one would need to know. Remove it from my sight. Bury it and forget the spot. Grind it into powder. Plant it under an alligator nest. Let me never lay eyes on it again. Very well. I had thought you would accept it as confirmation of my loyalty. My... Someone told me you were looking for it. 
You should not allow gossip to infect your mind. Now be gone! Not before I warn you, Mentor. You are not safe here. Have I not been telling you this for years? Useless child. This threat is new and very real. A man, Vasquez. I am aware. He bribes Spanish troops. But I already have plans to outwit them. I will use their superstition against them. Let me help. I know I cannot stop you. You will see. My loyalty is real. Very well. Listen closely. See if you can follow this plan. I have planted signs, which our dear European friends find terrifying. If you are able to follow the instructions, you may tail them from sign to sign and eliminate them silently, giving the appearance of a voodoo curse. Boo! And then? A curse may frighten them, but will it be enough to stop the flow of new recruits? More questions. I thought you were here to help. Ah, silence at last. Go now before you spoil this moment. Bonjour, smugglers! Aveline! It's been a long while. Too long. Listen, have you noticed any unusual activity on the bayou? <laughs> Other than ours, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have been noticing rather a lot of uh, men in Spanish uniforms. <laughs> Although I would question both their manhood and their allegiance. They've been bribed by a man named Vasquez. He works for the... Vasquez? Sacre bleu, I know his name. I heard soldiers talking. He plans to divert a supply ship tomorrow. Unless we divert it first. <laughs> I like how you think. Have I not said it before, Elise? I love how she thinks. I'm in the mood for a diversion myself. If I may make a suggestion. The lighthouse on Lake Pontchartrain. If you were uh, tamper with it, Perhaps that ship may never reach her birth. Roussillon, I like how you think. Have I not said it before, Elise? I love how he thinks. Wow, Aveline, that was spectacular. I'm only sorry Vasquez wasn't on board. No, no. I wouldn't be too sorry just yet. Perhaps this will be of help. Aveline, you have returned. Maman, you're not afraid of me. Aveline, I have passed more years missing you than mothering you. If I cannot know you now that you are returned to me, then why have I waited all this time? My love is stronger than my fear. You are no assassin. You are my daughter. Will you ever understand why I had to leave? Oui. You thought your life was in danger. Your father made me free, but I could never be free in Nouvelle-Orléans. Not with the assassins watching. Are you free here? No. I traded one enemy for another, and they will not rest until they have what they seek. The missing shard of the disc. As long as it is here, I will always feel their eyes on me. But if someone were to remove it... Someone strong and resourceful? I might know someone like that. If you see her, please give her this map. And let her know about the old canoe that remained in the cenote after our last expedition. Tell her to go quickly. Somehow they are watching. If she was to be discovered, we would both... Fear not, Mama. You will know peace soon. Evelyn, were you successful? Do not show me. I have seen too much already. I need never lay eyes on it again. Mama, I will return to New Orleans and set everything right. Then I will send for you. My dear, tenacious daughter. I want nothing more than to be close to you again. But this colony is my place now. The people here need me. 
Nouvelle Orléans will always be haunted. I understand. Don't worry. This will not be the last you see of me. Be careful, my child. Papa, you're the face of death. What does the doctor say? <coughs> Do not worry, ma chérie. It is only... <coughs> Papa! <coughs> My dear love, do not frown so. Between your worry and your stepmother's tonic, the malady hurts less than the cure. <coughs> oh, Jeanne. You were always so protective of that locket. I have always regretted... Evelyn, I am sorry for interrupting, but I need your assistance. It is urgent. Of course. I love you, Papa. <laughs> there is a slave, George. I promised him safe passage to the north, but during his escape he was discovered by soldiers. He hides, but... Please, is there anything you can do? With your business booming and your contacts in the bayou? Oui. I will get him to safety. In utmost discretion. Evelyn! Who is this? George. A friend. We have a situation I'm hoping you'll help with. Evelyn, a friend of yours is a friend of ours. But uh, we've got a situation of our own brewing. Our um, Spanish friends want us to hand these supplies over to some, how do you say, uh, patriot, at the edge of the swamp. Patriots. Well, you know, from the north. A rebellion, upheaval, etc. A business opportunity by any other name. But for some reason, the Spanish soldiers keep trying to steal the supplies back. This sounds awfully familiar. You don't think... Oh, I try never to think. <laughs> Suppose George and I were to help you with your rogue Spanish soldier problem. Would your patriot friends escort him north? If they want more supplies, they'll accept. Good. Let's go. Ahoy! Upton? Hopton. Enchanté. These are the goods? Everything the Gouverneur promised. And a few uh, bonus items from your friends in the bayou. Excellent. You weren't detected, I hope? Not by any who still breathes. <laughs> Monsieur Hopton, how secret is your arrangement with our Spanish gouverneur? Any fool can see the Spanish want to keep the English out of their territory. Any sense why Spanish soldiers would be shooting at us? We did meet one man who didn't seem so keen on the arrangement. The contrary fellow. Vasquez, I think, was his name? The company man is here. The what man? <coughs> uh, Monsieur Hopton, if you want your supplies to make it out of La Louisiane, additional security would be wise. May I suggest George accompany you? Certainly. If he's willing to fight, the Patriot cause will be glad to have him. I will fight for you, sir. Over any cause. Be careful, Monsieur Hopton. I hope to see you again. Um, Monsieur Roussillon and I value your business. I will. The, uh, Patriots value your support. Senorita. Why, I do believe the minuet is the next dance, Senor Vasquez. Si, si. Good night. 
company man. Company man? <laughs> no. You are mistaken. What? <laughs> Futile murder. And beautiful death. She will make you suffer. I am so sorry. But you had to know with your circumstances that he could not leave you anything. Of course, Miles remains open to you. I care not about his will. Only that he has gone. His business is in my name, but I consider it yours. The law has no place between us. <sighs> Connor? I'm Aveline de Grand Prix. Your brother from New Orleans. Yes. Achilles told me you would come. I seek a loyalist. Officer Davidson of Lord Dunmore's Ethiopian regiment. That regiment passed through here. Look at the destruction they left. Their trail leads this way. We will follow them carefully. Unhand me! One chance to keep your life. Where is Davidson? Who? Come on, time's up. He's in the fort. That was easy. Why is it you call yourselves loyalists again? Easier to be loyal in the safety of the fort than out in the snow with a knife to your neck. Run home, now. And don't let me see you again. You won't be able to run then. Yes, ma'am. George? Is it you? Officer Davidson. If you would kindly pay me the respect my rank commands now. Fighting for the British? And working for my enemy who would enslave you? I'll say something's rank. Ha! The loyalists have guaranteed my freedom. I will fight for it and win it for myself. Meanwhile, the slaves and the poor are targets in New Orleans. And you play the hero in New York. Who do you serve? And do you really think yourself free? Charity should begin at himself, Miss Avelino. I had hoped it would not come to this. Now, in death, eternal freedom. You mock me. I chose my destiny. That is real freedom. Perhaps one day you will know it too. I... Who is the company man? <laughs> the answer has been in your own backyard all along. Just... Open your eyes. <sighs> Did you find what you sought? We, oui. and much that I didn't. Connor, are you always certain in the means and ways of the Brotherhood? I trust my own hands. Of course. Travel safely. It's the arrival that concerns me. <laughs> then you are on the right path. Avelyn! What a pleasant surprise. I trust you had a safe journey? Safety! Ha! <laughs> what a quaint concept. Avin, are you well? You may quit your maternal act, company man. I'm well aware of your true identity. 
<laughs> oh, Avelyn, do not be so angry. Do you think that I do not know where you go when you climb through your window to the rooftops at night? How you play the dainty daughter to your doting father? How you pretend to blend with slaves of all people? As if you could conceal your true self from me. <laughs> My dear, sweet stepdaughter. You are alive today because I needed you. Because I still need you. For what? Sit down. A little late for that, don't you think? My men will kill you. Then what will be left of your precious brotherhood? At ease. Look at us. So sad. How many years have we worked together for the slaves? <laughs> you kept them enslaved, on your own terms, out of sight for your ill gain. You ended that, as was my intention. Monsieur de Ferrer had different ideas. He perverted my peaceful colony into something ugly. You had to kill him. I owe you gratitude. I don't believe you. Aveline, I love you. I raised you as my own. I was unable to bear children, but you brought light to my life. My whole life you lied to me. I am sorry. It was necessary. A mother's duty is to protect. But look at me now in the light of truth. You, who know so well the pain of a life lived in secret, shrouding your power in petticoats and lace, pretending obedience to men who deny you the right to your own abilities. Am I really so strange to you? I needed you to quash the terrorist elements in my organization. I need you still. I cannot let the assassins waste your talents. You are too valuable to me. As a tool to manipulate? I know you have been frustrated. Agate. I disobeyed. De Ferrer would still live if he had his way. You see? Your aims match mine. Join me, Avelyn. Finish what you started. Agate! The student returns. Why? What use have you suddenly found for old Agate? I have discovered the identity of the company man. What? Did you not kill him years ago? That was not the company man. <laughs> you ignored my warning, and now you see your error. It was your responsibility to know as much as mine, Agate. I was a child when you brought me into the Brotherhood and made me an assassin. You pretended to protect me, to root out the enemy. And all along, my own stepmother, Madeleine, was the company man. <gasps> Iniquity runs in the family. Mentor, do not force my hand. The Agate who trained me is a man of truth and courage. I know he still lives within you. Let him out again. Uh, 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 oh. What have I wrought? I should have stayed with your mother. You should have been my child, raised as a daughter, not twisted into this monster. Go now, Agate. Run. And promise never to return. You would bid me a coward's slow, pointless death? As you did Uyoa! I will not live with the dishonor! I... Agate! No! I have done as you asked. He is dead. And the disc? Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do. To never share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death? Whatever the cost, I do. 
Then I welcome you into our arms, sister. Together we shall usher in the dawn of a new world. One in which our hands will ensure that all things find their proper place. My daughter, you are one of us now. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the Father of Understanding guide us. It does not work! Why can't I understand? It cannot be! I refuse to believe it! All these wasted years, a lifetime of sacrifice and... We have all the pieces, I am certain of it. Unless... Why? You can blame Chichen Itza and De Ferrer, but I see through you. My daughter. No. <laughs> daughter? Only two people can call me that. You banished one and sacrificed the other. Foxglove. You killed my father with your care and your tonic. Why? Because he never truly loved you? And Jeanne, my mother, you stole her child, sent her away. You kept her enslaved even after my father had freed her. And now you attempt to return me to that fate. In the service of humanity, in work, the purpose for which you were created. We were created. The highest purpose. I will not serve you. No! Uh, 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 uh. Eve will lead us through the war of generations. There will be great sacrifice, great sorrow to end the enslavement of the human race. Now is the time to claim our freedom. Are you with us? I am. Eve will lead us. Eve will lead us. It is done.